Alright, hey everybody. Today I'm going to be making a new video. I haven't made one in a long time, but here's a new video for you guys who keep subscribing to me even though I haven't made a new video. But for that, thank you. So, I also I have another idea that I'm going to be pushing out. If you guys like it, let me know and I will continue forward with it. But for today's video, we are going to show you how to get free avatar items for the games you've played that have them. So as you guys can see, you got the I have all these games I've played. So there is Halo Reach right over there, Hydrophobia right there, Explosion Man, Limbo, um, I, I can't remember what game that is. But Monday Night Combat, Doom 2, Earthworm Jim, and over there that to the arrow is Blur and Red Dead Redemption. So we're gonna show you how to get all these avatar items for free using our same old tools that we've been using and an even new one. We're going to be using Modio and Horizon today which I will include in the uh, description below. So go ahead and enjoy the video and let me just uh, start off show you guys that there are some avatar words missing for these so you will know what to expect when I come back on this account and show you what we have uh, changed. So here we go let's go into Halo Reach and see what we got. Okay, see there's just a helmet right there. You got one helmet, that's Jun's helmet, and you also have Kat's helmet, but you're missing still three helmets there. And then for Hydrophobia, all we have is the Mavi. We don't have the Queen of the World t-shirt. Not to say that I really want it, but I don't have it. <laughs> and then for Limbo, I believe I have I have both of those for Limbo. Uh, Red Dead Redemption. All I have is Umbrow. I'm still missing four, okay? So we're going to go ahead and change the ones that we've seen on here and uh, show you guys how cool this is and hopefully you guys find it very useful. Alright, we'll uh, move over to the computer now. Alright, hey everybody, uh, just like I said I am back and we're going to make a video um, about how to get free avatar items from the games that have avatar awards. So get free avatar awards um, using Horizon and Mario. So yeah, like I said, I will put those links in the description for you guys to download. And I'm going to make this video as thorough as possible, giving you as much detail so no one has any questions. And I going I'm going to put this on both my accounts. Because people keep subscribing to random expressions, even though I said I wasn't going to be making any more videos on that account. But, um, yeah, I'm going to put it on both of them, so that way both my subscribers on both accounts can see this. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm back. I don't know how long it's going to be, and uh, <laughs> or if I'm going to stay. But I have some information, some exciting news, if you guys are interested. Uh, both subscribers on both parties, Random Expressions and Aperture of Gaming. If anyone's interested, let me know. I'll get more into that at the end of this video. So, let's get started. First off, by saying, um, Horizon, you will need to be a Diamond member to use this. So, you know, it's great, it's worth it. You know, you do have to pay to use it. Um, and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. So, let's go ahead and uh, open Horizon by double-clicking it. Alright, once you uh, have Horizon open, uh, go ahead and we will go to Profile Tools. Um, just to do a quick run through of Horizon. Basically, it's Mario with a whole bunch of better mod tools and it's more efficient and faster. And it's just a better uh, way to mod your games. And it has stuff that Mario doesn't. Uh, it has Alan Wake, you know, you can see these games. You know, popular games, Crackdown 2, Dead Rising 2. You know, and they just keep adding games. Like, um, was it every two days, I think they added a, a new game. You know, they got Halo Reach for you guys. They got, you know, all these different things that you guys would be interested into. And you don't have to pay to use most of the tools. I think like uh, Gears of War, you don't have to pay. You can be a, a standard member like Mario and use most of the tools. But like certain things like Halo Reach or Halo ODST, you will be, have to be a paid member to use it. You know, and it's not that big of a deal. It's not that much. And it's well worth it, like I said. So let's go ahead and go over to uh, the profile mods. And go ahead and click this one right here, Avatar Award Unlocker. Go ahead and uh, load that up. Okay, so while that's loading up, 
let's go ahead and hop on to Mario and um, uh, extract our profile okay so this is what we're gonna do uh, if you guys have Mario on your desktop go ahead open it you know mine's in this folder I already have it open so I don't need to open it for you guys so here we go there is Mario loaded and I am also a VIP member on this account just I don't use it that much because Mario kind of sucks now <laughs> but uh yeah okay click on the big M in the top left corner for you guys that don't use Mario it's uh, the big M in the top left corner go down to where it says explore my device uh, currently I am doing this mod tutorial on a USB drive you can also use it on the HDD which is your hard disk drive for your uh, console if you have the newer 360 slim model you will have to use a USB because I don't think there's any way to mod the hard drive as of yet um, like I said I haven't been in the whole modding scene for a while I'm just getting back into it so uh, go ahead press a uh, file and open your device alright go ahead let that open alright okay partition zero you're gonna go down and click on content and you want to go and click on the profile that you want the achievements for. Mine, I'm going to be using my old gamer tag. Some of you guys know me by. Go ahead and go open that. Go to your profile storage. Profiles. Like I said, sorry if you guys already know how to do this. A lot of people that don't, I'm trying to make this as thorough as possible. Go ahead and extract your profile by just simply dragging it to your desktop. I think if you have Windows uh, Vista, you're going to have to right click it and then press like extract to desktop. I don't remember. I haven't used Windows Vista in quite a while. It's, it's a terrible operating system. But um, yeah, go ahead and extract that. It's going to save to the desktop. And once it saves, we're going to go ahead and go back to Horizon so we can get uh, get the modding started. I probably will make another video after this one explaining uh, how to change some other stuff. Just a, a few simple mods, you know, that uh, Horizon offers. I might actually just do a run through of Horizon because it's just really amazing and I'm happy that I have it. Just got it um, not that long ago, actually. So uh, go ahead, open Horizon again. All right, here we go. The Avatar War Unlocker has loaded up. We want to go ahead and open our profile by clicking the open button right here. All right, now once that it's open, go ahead and scroll down till you get to your profile. Your profile is what we just extracted, the whole E001 profile thing. And yeah, it's uh, E00 whatever the yours may be. Go ahead and open it. All right, once you open it, it's going to show all the games that you have played for that have avatar awards. See, Avatar Ward Unlocker, Sleeping Paris, that is my gamer tag. And uh, let it load up all the games that have the Avatar. Alright, we have it open now, okay. Uh, it shows how much you have out of the, um, it's basically like an achievement unlocker, basically, but for Avatar Awards. So I have two out of the ten uh, awards unlocked for Blur. And uh, I have a total of 18 out of four 48 awards unlocked altogether for all of my games I've played. So... It shows you in this little corner right here. See if I can move this up. I guess that's as much as I can move it up. Yeah. Okay. In this little corner right here, it shows you what the, what the item is. You just click it and say you can get a little preview of it. It's like if you like it, if you like it, like I said, it's just like an uh, achievement unlocker. Go ahead and if you want to unlock it offline, click offline unlock. There you go. You just unlocked. Uh, I just unlocked the female legend tee, uh, by mistake, I didn't really even pay attention to what I was doing, but now if you want to go ahead and unlock all your um, achievements, I mean all your avatar awards for every game, just go ahead and click it, okay, unlock all displayed, and it's going to unlock all of them, see, so now I have 10 out of 10 uh, awards for blur, now if you want to unlock all your awards altogether, you just don't even want to bother to go through with them, just click unlock all awards. So are you sure you want to unlock all your avatar awards? Go ahead and click yes. Now, with Horizon, they use a new technology that Mario doesn't use. And they claim that they have stealth patching on every one of their rehashing and re-signing uh, tools. 
So you will never get banned ever again. Supposedly, that's what they say. But um, if it does happen, don't blame me because I'm going by what they say. I always, you know, try to be prepared and, you know, uh, deal with the consequences. <laughs> so I was like, if you get banned, I don't take blame for it. If you know, don't blame Horizon if you get banned. You know, go ahead and use your mods in moderations. <laughs> so yeah. Um, as you can see, we've unlocked all 48 uh, awards um, out of the 48. Let's go ahead and go to Comic Jumper. That's the name of that game I couldn't remember. And here is the other Avatar Award. It's a Captain Smiley Giant Head. And um, yeah, and go to Halo Reach. You can see that we have unlocked all of the helmets now. So don't worry about that anymore. So once that's all done, you have everything and you're satisfied. You have all of your you have all of your uh your avatar awards. Go ahead and click save. Okay, saved, rehashed, and resigned. There you go. See me, once I'm done with this, when I'm done with Horizon, go ahead and you know minimize that. I always like to rehash and resign with Mario as well just to be sure. You know, because you can never be too sure with when you're modding something. So go ahead and open up the resigner on Mario. Again, if you guys have any questions, I'm like I said, I'm trying to be as thorough as possible, I but I do miss things. If you guys have any questions at all, please message me. I will actually respond to you guys this time. Because with my last videos, I haven't been because I've just been so busy. But I will respond to you guys if you guys have questions because I will try to get back into the YouTube and um, supporting you guys and trying to help you guys in the latest modding and gaming news for Xbox and what little PS3 news I do offer. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up uh, your profile on Mario. Scroll down till you see it again. Alright, there you go. Click on the original. Open it. Let it load up again. All right, there you go. Sleeping Paris. Go ahead and rehash and resign that. It has now been rehashed and resigned. Go ahead and close it. Go back to where you saved uh, saved your game profile originally, which is mine is on the desktop. Desktop is the easiest place usually to store it. Okay, go ahead, get the original, drag it over to Mario and just drag and drop it back and replace your original game save file already exists do you want to override it yes you do want to overwrite you know there is no problem in overwriting it you know i don't you know choose to make backups of my accounts because i don't need to but every modder will tell you start off if especially if you're new to modding always have a backup of your original account saved somewhere on your computer's hard drive or maybe on a flash drive so if anything gets corrupted or messed up you have your original but me I don't need to do that because I usually know what I'm doing so yeah go ahead uh, file and close it and we are all done on the computer end we're gonna load it back up on the Xbox and see what avatar awards really unlocked and what transferred over Okay, hey everybody, we're back on the console, and uh, as you can see, I'm going to sign in right now to Sleeping Paris. Um, just a quick note to people who watch me on Random Expressions for uh, you guys trying to get free arcade games and DLCs. Yeah, it still does work. Um, I will make a new video for you guys because you guys have been asking me for one. So I'll make a new video, and those two accounts of Team Hydro Arcade and uh, Mr. Lindsay, if uh, those were the accounts, they are still uh, valid. So uh, go ahead and let's check this out and see what uh, really went through. Okay, go to customize avatar. Go ahead and just let this load up. All right, here we go. We are at the avatar main menu. We'll go down to awards. This is what we were here for. Let it load up your items. All right, here we are back at where we started. We are back where we started. Now let's go ahead and click on Halo Reach, and there we go, all the helmets have unlocked, there we go, and this is what you're going to have to do, same, you know, you like uh, email's helmet, go ahead and click it, it says, this isn't on your console, do you want to download it, go ahead and click yes, basically you're saving it to your hard drive, because you put it on your memory stick, if, you know, you use a USB like me, 
So every time you click on one of your avatar items, like Comet Jumper, go ahead and click on the big helmet, save it to your hard drive. If you already use your HDDD, your hard disk drive, you probably will not have to do this. But yes, we have unlocked all of the avatar awards that we were looking for. <laughs> now, back to what uh, you guys really wanted to know. Um, I will be giving away... I'm thinking about it, okay? Because I don't know if anyone's interested. If any of you guys are interested, like I had said earlier, I'm thinking about doing a contest giveaway that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but I couldn't afford it, but now I can. I'm doing a giveaway of Gamefly, Netflix, and Microsoft points. Three prizes, so that means three winners. You know, anyone can enter from both my accounts, Random Expressions and Aperture of Gaming. All you have to do is leave a comment... Okay, leave a comment saying either Gamefly, Netflix, Microsoft Points, and send me a message on my account saying that you left a comment, that you are a subscriber to one of my accounts, and that's all you gotta do. Leave me a message and post a comment. Let me know you posted the comment, let me know you're a subscriber. Okay, again, what you're gonna do is have to tell me that you either want Netflix, Gamefly, or Microsoft Points. And with that being said, with the Microsoft Points, of course, it's 1600 You can use them on Xbox Live on any of your accounts. It will be a valid, redeemable code for you to use. And with the Netflix, it will be a one-month instant streaming only validation uh, redeemable card that you'd have to go on Netflix.com and redeem it yourself. So that for that, you will need a valid credit card to use, only for purposes like if you damage a DVD, they can charge you for it, basically. But the subscription is already paid for for one month for Netflix. And also, Gamefly, same thing. One month for one video game out at a time. Again, you will need a valid credit card to use it, but it's already paid for for that whole month. Now, if anyone's interested in those, Leave me some comments, some messages, and I will definitely do that giveaway. Again, Microsoft Points, Netflix, Gamefly. Alright.